<laughs> Just a warning, this is going to be some serious pie ahead. Boing, 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 boing. Ah! Hi, Curiosities. So if you don't follow my Twitter, you probably don't know much about what's going on with me right now or why I've just been kind of absent for a tiny bit. I'm dealing with tax issues. And you're like, Carrie, it's not tax time. And you're right. But earlier this month, I got a notice saying randomly due to something that an employer had turned in or whatnot, I owed $38,000 in back taxes and penalties for the 2014 tax year. I know. So I called the IRS and I was like, what the crap? And found out a particular person, um, company, not person, uh, that I worked for, who I, I did contract work for, apparently reported three different 1099s, all of which, since none of them said corrected, were added up onto each other, equaling a total of nearly $90,000 that they had supposedly paid me untaxed. Um, <laughs> which is, oh my god, so laughable when I, I wish I could tell you how little we were paid for this contracting work. So I got a hold of them, and to be to their credit, they were very fairly prompt on uh, helping me resolve it, sort of, in, as in giving me a corrected 1099. Um, I think about took two and a half, maybe three days, probably more like two and a half. Uh, so I got my corrected 1099, which said 1400 for the years of 2014. Um, and I was like, ha ah, ha, yes, and it's corrected. Uh, so I faxed it in as I was told, and then I had been told to wait seven days. Now, mind you, this was their mistake, so I'm not sure why I'm the one faxing it in, but that's neither here nor there. So I called yesterday to make sure they got it because supposedly I had to wait seven days. Um, first of all, found out they didn't have it. They didn't receive it. Um, so angry. And also, that apparently they can receive it in like 24 hours, so I'm not sure I was told seven days. That's seven days I was... I just wasted. Oh, and uh, also yesterday, I got a uh, another letter from the IRS saying that my original installment agreement, because um, I was paying off, because I did a lot of contract work in 2014, and I didn't quite properly put enough aside to pay for that, so I was paying off about 4000 in taxes in an installment agreement agreement. So this was saying that because I had lied and not fully reported what I owed, according to this erroneous 1099 that had been sent in, uh, my installment agreement was being terminated and I was being sent to the IRS collections. So my account is apparently in default. <laughs> Deciding that I'm just not going to take any chances at this freaking point because if they're not receiving it and I talked to one tax lawyer in a free consultation over the phone and she doesn't seem to think I need a lawyer. She was like, you know, just you got to call them and you got to be aggressive. I don't know if I can do that. I mean, it's one thing when I'm, I'm, I'm fighting for something in particular, but when it's like the threat of wage garnishment is against me and I realize that means like that doesn't just threaten me, that threatens my partner, my, my other housemates, my parents, um, my student loan. Just, I don't know if I can be the, also, I don't have a fax machine and she had suggested like, you know, call them and be like, well, give me your fax num number. Do you know, apparently every IRS person has their own personal fax, at, uh, at least according to this lawyer I spoke to. <laughs> I'm just like, really? Cause they all give you this generic thing and you can apparently be like, no, I'm faxing t this to you now. Um, let me know when you have it. <laughs> seven days, fucking seven days wasted. God. So today I am doing an in-person consultation with, um, a CPA uh, and tax lawyer, small little uh, firm in Orange County, um, hoping that they can help me. Uh, a good friend of mine who's getting her CPA license told me that I can actually get what I need through a CPA, which will be a lot cheaper. So I'm hoping that because it's a small firm and they apparently have both, that um, they'll just charge me for a normal CPA charge to just get this done. Because what I really need is just someone who can call the IRS and like do the like fax thing. I can't do that at Kinko's. I don't have access to a fax. I'm actually at a Kinko's to go get, um, to print out a few bits of info just to like further solidify, like, look, this is all on my side. I have all the evidence. I just need someone who can actually, has the resources to just attack this and get it done because I, 
I can't spend all this time on a phone. I certainly can't wait three hours on the phone to talk to an IRS agent in a freaking kinko so that I can demand their fax number. It's just not something that I can do. Um, I can't even talk to you guys about this without getting emotional, apparently. So how the hell am I going to do this with an IRS agent and be firm and not <laughs> not do this? Especially because the guy I talked to yesterday was a total asshole. That's what's going on with me. Um... I'll let you know. I'll update you guys um, after I talk to the guy. My meeting's at noon today. I'm just getting my last bit of paperwork ready and then back to <sighs> job hunting on top of all of this. <laughs> it's a, that's the really funny thing is is this whole crap of like this thread of wage garnishment. I'm like, I don't even have wages for you to garnish. Fuck this company for putting th me through more hell. And fuck the IRS for just being so hard to get a hold of that I have to hire a professional in order to get this done. It's ridiculous. Hopefully the wage thing won't get... I mean, that hopefully won't happen because I have so much paperwork showing. I even have an email from this company being like, yep, that's our fault. So, I'm hoping... <laughs> I feel really overwhelmed right now. But it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm sorry that you had to see this whole, like, very obvious, like, mental breakdown. Um, keep your fingers crossed that, um, the people I'm seeing today can help me and for a reasonable, hopefully reasonable price. I don't want to pay thousands of dollars to get this fixed because then I have to go and then sue this company and for legal fees because I feel like they owe me at least that. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll let you know what happens. I love you, and I hope you're having a much better day than I am. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, curiosities.